Hi, y'all. Just let me pop on here and say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the likes and shares. And when y'all recreating, be sure to tag me on Instagram. Um, also, don't forget to comment. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. And y'all, let's get into the cake. I'm headed to work. Got my mask, all that, all that. And I hope y'all enjoy. Why you think you keep my nine rolling off the tongue? Just say good day, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. All that when y'all watching y'all. Listen. Oh, Lord. It's been a very trying week. I don't know why I thought it was a little young girl in these streets getting my... Getting four, tooth, four teeth removed. And baby, that thing just took me out. But nonetheless, this is better than sex. Get rid of your ex. French vanilla pound cake. We going pound cake style today. If you if you don't know about these box cake hacks and how I do, I suggest you go back and watch that first video. Um, because I want to get to the point where I don't have to explain too much. I can jump right in, and the oven is preheated. She ready? So let's go ahead and get this. So first things first, we're gonna go with the box of cake mix in our bowl. And what I do, y'all, is I put my bowl on a dish towel so when I start mixing, it don't move it. We have the cake mix. I have a box of French vanilla pudding there. We got the vanilla bean paste. We got lemon extract. We got vanilla extract back there. No, I take that back. We got vanilla bean paste. We got almond extract. We got a little bit of lemon. We got heavy whipping cream because we're going pound cake style. We have French vanilla coffee creamer. We have four eggs, sour cream, butter. And this is the start of the show, the French vanilla cappuccino mix. The written recipe is going to be below. Now when you add your pudding, you definitely want to go ahead and get everything well combined. And I just want to say, like, my new subbies, hi, welcome. Baby, I do not say followers. I do not say fans. We are a team. When y'all choose to support somebody on social media, you become like family. You become like a team. And I don't know if that's because I'm a little bit older. I take on that. But that word fans really just like get to me. Because I feel like I don't care what your income bracket is. Ain't nobody out here better than the next. Because one thing money can't buy is happiness, class. Sometimes it'll get you more health wise, but sometimes we even see the most healthiest that can't even buy you that. You know, so I'm of the pedigree. I don't like to be out here feeling like I'm better than nobody. I don't worship celebrities and things like that. I don't even worship big YouTubers. Baby, do you. And I'm going to do me. I said this cake is relatively simple. And I know some people are real OCD. So let me go back and do the eggs old school style. Meaning, y'all, I'm going to crack one. Put it in the bowl, right? And I'm going to dump it in one by one. This way you don't get a bad egg. Somebody. You know, when you think people ain't going to mention something or catch it. Somebody caught it on the last video. And I was like, ma'am, I, I already know that. But god damn, let me look. Another thing too, somebody said, well, what's up with the one hand crack? I mean, honestly, cooking for a long time. Um... And operating social media and your phone at the same time, baby, it it just become a thing. Okay? It just becomes a thing. So, I'm not going to start beating yet because you can over mix a box cake. Again, you can over mix. Let me say this too. We like good vibes over here. We like happy thoughts. We like the good compliments, but I welcome them, welcome them all. What I find very unnecessary is you might as well bake it from scratch and all this and all that. If I can give you the rundown and shake down and break down on all of these cakes, what makes you think I don't know how to bake from scratch? There's a reason and a season and a time and place for everything. And sometimes, baby, you just got to stay out of folks' business. I look around this house, only person live here is me, right? Again, the time and appreciation for a scratch cake, anybody going to be here to appreciate it? Not really. Not really. 
If you look back at my channel, I'm also an ice cream coupon. I'm getting my sour cream together by the way, a third of a cup. I'm also an ice cream coupon. So I know my cake products out the grocery store for me is always your free. cake flour, your grocery store flowers, baby them flowers ain't the same. Your AP, your self rising, all cakes don't call for the same thing. Case in point. You ever make a recipe off YouTube and say, I did it exact and it didn't come out right? Let me tell y'all one thing about them flowers. Store-bought versus this brand and that brand. Everybody run their flower through the mill different. Some of them be so bleached up that they do not make for good cakes. So what I'm saying is I'm taking the guess and work out of it and doing what's easy for me. Now, again, if you want to be scratch or whatever, whatever, but I'm going to be cocky for a minute. Go ahead and bake your scratch. Ain't gonna be better than mine. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anywho, we got the third cup of sour cream in there. And now we're gonna go with the rest of the wet. So, one cup measurement. I'm trying to push it back so y'all can see. Buttermilk or heavy cream is gonna be super crucial in this cake today. And I was shaking it, so that's why it's lumpy like that. Like it started to get like whipped cream on me. But that's so. Okay. This is a regular spoon, a regular cereal spoon. I want to give myself three spoons of that. And then you get this all stirred up in your heavy cream, and you want to start to smell that vanilla. It's gonna smell so so good. So remember, we taking our flavors to the max. That's the whole goal. We want flavor, flavor. I am loving the interaction. And I am loving people making the cakes over and tagging me on Instagram. Y'all really out here getting our fake bacon on. And somebody told me, no. My grandmother said, this is the way you take the box out the cake. I said, girl, I like that. Because either way, we rolling with it. And y'all go hard for me. But I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek of next week. My infamous strawberry pound cake. And the dragonization I get over the way I say on strawberry, baby, I'm sensitive to it. So I don't want y'all to get in there cussing up the people for me at this point. We don't give a damn. Okay? All right. So I'm going to pour this in the chouette. Let me grab my rubber spatula, y'all. That way we get all of it. See how them rubber spatulas just make life so much easy. French vanilla coffee creamer. No need to dirty more dishes. You're saying one third cup measurement. You use your um your sour cream in. Go ahead and dump that in there again. We amping up the flavor. Yes, good. I'm gonna drop one, two lemon just for freshness. Lemon always heighten everything, y'all. Lemon heightens everything. Almond extract. We want to give one. Two, just a pinch, and then the infamous vanilla bean paste. I told y'all this ingredient is costly, but this whole tube has lasted me since uh, Thanksgiving, and it is now March. And I made sweet potato pies and everything else, and I want to do one, two, three drops because it's all about the vanilla today. Now I'm gonna get the hand mixer, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix on low. For one minute you don't want to mix super high to begin with because you're dealing with heavy cream and you don't want the cream to form up and become super whipped creamy in the batter not just shit anyway y'all saw me mix it on low for one minute stopping to scrape down the bowl we're gonna mix some more and we're gonna scrape some more but now we're gonna go in with i got a tendency to leave like butter and cream cheese in an air cut tight container on the counter because these are items that I use a lot. So you want two-fourths cup of melted butter. If you don't have the two-fourths measurement on your measuring cups or spoon, it's the one-third measurement done twice. So while I'm getting that together, y'all know me. I had to take a break. I had to, not a break, but clean as I go. I got my pan um, with butter flavor spray. Now, I'm using a bunt pan today, but my, if you had a regular pound cake pan, you would do the, the same thing. Um, a good thing too, Baker's Joy, whatever, the, whatever you got, use whatever you got. 
Um, the objects of these cakes are to use like pantry ingredients and you all really use what you have in mm hand. -hmm. I'm going to do this part by hand for a minute because I want to make sure I get everything scraped down. Now, little known fact about me, um, I don't have kids, y'all, and I'm not married. And baking was, it wasn't relatively big in my family. Like my mother, definitely not a baker. Um, my dad did a really good cornbread, but my aunts and grandmother on my father's side were were bakers. And I, my my mom and dad was not together, but they didn't live far from each other, so I was from street to street. And southern hospitality, being from the deep south, I can say Charleston, I am from the deep south. It was nothing like going by somebody's house and you sitting on the porch, you look in their kitchen. They got a cake under the cake tree. They're going to offer you a slice and a glass of sweet tea, some lemonade or something. That's just Southern hospitality. So I relatively always had something bake or something cook for when somebody stopped by. Now, did I always have people stop by my house? Yes, because out of all my siblings, I am the oldest girl. And auntie... Being a scream couponer, being the cook, being the baker, people always come into my house, y'all. Now, whoever made this comment last week, girl, I mean to laugh at you, but I, I did laugh at you because my friends and my homegirls, they team diva too. They subscribe to the channel. And sometimes they'll drag you if you don't say the right thing. Somebody said, well, the artificial flavors and dyes and them cakes is my problem. So Tree said, so that mean you eat organic all day every day? Cause this one cake ain't gonna make a difference. Here to tell you, she ain't lie. All right, so let's get this scooped in. What I wanna show y'all is crucial. You see this batter? You see how thick this is? Anytime you use heavy cream, or buttermilk, you are going to transform the cake into pound cake form. Now hear me out. My layer cake last week, I used half and half. Cupcakes, I use half and half. If I just want a traditional bundt cake, I'm going to use half and half because that's going to make for a lighter, more fluffier batter and that batter is going to rise more. So anything I'm using, when somebody say, can you make this into cupcakes, you just change the liquid that you use. How do you get the wax paper from underneath it? You don't put it all the way under. You just tuck it here, and that way it makes for easy cleanup. It could be wax paper. It could be paper towel. You know, do your thing. Now, if y'all look at this glaze, y'all. Look at the glaze. If y'all can see the flecks of vanilla in it, that's making it so pretty. Now, when it comes to the glaze for this cake, let the, let the cake cool completely. Make the glaze as thick or thin as you desire. I just want it to hug the cake per se and to make it real rustic and homemade like I just do it just like this and let the chips fall as they may. You don't need a lot because it's thick enough to where it's going to Hug the cake, but I got it thin enough to where it'll run down. It's like on TikTok. Can we see a slice? Can we see a slice? So I'm going to slice it and drop it in here. And on my way out the door, I like to use a serrated knife, especially with bunt cakes. I think I'll do this piece because it's bigger. Look at the moistness. I don't want to touch it, but look at the moistness. The scrape pound cake consistency. Come on now. I'm going to see y'all later.